So chipping, and the one thing that you really need to understand with chipping is what we're going to be talking about in this particular video. Now, what happens is when you're not very good at chipping, you tend to feel quite yippy, okay? So that means that you sort of, you can start to feel your sort of hands getting excessively involved, and you don't want that. That's the one thing you don't want to do. But what you will almost try to do is you try to eliminate that flipping motion. And what you don't really realize is actually that flipping motion is helping you get the club on the back of the golf ball, okay? So all you need to do to become a very competent chipper is you need to understand how to manage your club path, okay? So what this means is we want that club path and the club head traveling in to square to it. We don't want it swinging excessively out to him and we don't want it excessively swinging in to out, okay? Because if you start swinging too much in to out, you're going to have to yip it to get the club face back to square. If you start swinging excessively out to in, then you're going to have to sort of yip your arm up to keep the club face aiming square. And those are the sort of things that you don't want to feel. What you want with chipping is this ability to just control in to square to in so you can produce just a very basic type of chip shot. So what we talked about in yesterday's video is the way that you manage swinging the club head on a nice arc is you just have to understand the core principle that the shaft of the golf club travels in a straight line, okay? So I'm gonna use my, I used the laser pen in yesterday's video. Today I'm gonna to just use an alignment stick. So I'm gonna hold the alignment stick as a shaft extender out the club and you're just gonna see the way that I'm gonna hover or hold, I should say, um, the club head up a little bit. So what you can do is you guys will be able to see how the club head is working on an arc around the body, but you can also see the way that the shaft of the golf club, which is used by this alignment stick, all it's doing is traveling in a straight line, which basically means if I stop here and extend this out, you can see the way it's pointing down towards my target line, but because my arms work to the side of my body, the club head works on an arc. So if you're not a very good chipper, the first exercise that you want to practice is just get yourself like a stick at home or turn your golf club upside down and just practice tracing a straight line back and through, okay, like so. And what this will do is this will help you manage your club path and that's a key thing. Now, the reason why I've incorporated this chipping video onto the impact playlist is quite simple because you're effectively doing the same thing in your full swing but there's a difference between the two. When you're hitting a full shot, so if I grab my iron here, I am going to be doing different things to my chip shot. What will happen in my full iron swing is that as I kind of start initiating my downswing, my body is gonna be triggering rotation, and this is gonna throw my hands and arms more out in front of my body, like so. Now, when my hands and arms go more out in front of my body, my club face will come more open. So in a full swing, you are going to need to feel forearm rotation to help you square the club face. Now with chipping, the reason why you won't feel forearm rotation is because your hands and arms work very close to your body. See, in the full swing, my arms are here. Club face looks like that. On my chip shots, because I stand closer and it's a short swing, it looks like this. You see how my hands are really close to my body. And because my hands are close to my body, my club face looks more like so. So the simplicity when it comes to chipping is that you're not gonna need to feel any excessive hand action. And if you do feel excessive hand action, the way that you're gonna eliminate that is you need to understand how to keep your hands close to your body, but keep the club shaft or the shaft of the club traveling in a straight line. So you can all of a sudden, you can start to see with that little bit of knowledge and that little bit of practice that you need to apply, you can kind of feel like my hands are just traveling on my feet line back and through and my club head will feel like it's traveling and the club shaft, I should say, will feel like it's traveling in a straight back and through line. But what you guys can see is the way the club head still works on an arc. And golfers that struggle with the chipping swing too much into out and they need to flip or out to win. So, Try and watch this series of the videos on the impact because it's really important not only to chip well, but to improve your irons and to improve your driver and to improve everything. But for now, go and work on this.
go and get yourself either a laser pen that you saw in the last video or an alignment stick and just start tracing that straight line back and through and you're going to find chipping a whole lot easier. See you soon.